Allow me to be frank at the commencement. You will not like me. No, I say you will not. The gentlemen will be envious and the ladies will be repelled. You will not like me now and you will like me a good deal less as we go on. Ladies, an announcement. I am up for it. All the time. That is not a boast nor an opinion. It is bone-hard medical fact. I put it around, you know. And you will watch me putting it around and sigh for it. Don't. It is a great deal of trouble for you, and you are far better watching and drawing your conclusions from a distance than you would be if I got my tars up your petticoats. Gentlemen, do not despair. I am up for that as well. And the same warning applies. Still your cheesy erections till I have had my say. But later when you shag, oh, and you will shag, I shall expect it of you, and I will know if you have let me down. I want you to shag with my homuncular image rattling in your gonads. Feel how it was for me, how it is for me, and ponder. Is that shudder the same shudder he sensed? Or is it something more profound? Or is there something in that wall of wretchedness that we batter our heads with at that shining lifelong moment? That is it. That is my prologue. Nothing in rhyme. No protestations of modesty. Oh, you were not expecting that, I hope. I am John Wilmot, second Earl of Rochester, and I do not want you to like me.